please. The next time. Is this time now? Yeah, please. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm talking to a group of young people from 18 to 26 years old who are interested in becoming au pairs. Uh, there are some agencies who take men as au pairs too. So I'm talking to young men and women who are interested in becoming au pairs one day. And I, I guess I like quotes. I want to share with you a quote from Ray Goforth that says, that there are two kinds of people who will tell you that you cannot make a difference in the world. Those who are afraid to try themselves and those who are afraid that they will succeed. Um, I have experience as an au pair for almost two years and I want to talk to you uh, how nice it is to be an au pair. Um, there are three main points that I want to share with you tonight. One of them is that your English will improve. Another one, the second one, is that you will have more experience with the children, become more mature. And the last one is that you're going to have a lot of fun in the United States. And um, first of all, I want to tell you a little bit of how your English will improve as being an au pair. Um, many people that come from different countries, they have basic to intermediate English when they arrive here. But since the first contact, they will um, listen to English all the time. They are going to see people uh, speaking English. Every sign is going to be in English in America. And these are some ways that your English will improve. Also, as an au pair, you are required to take 80 hours of uh, school. And with that, your English will also improve. But if uh, by any chance you choose to live with a family, a host family, that is from the same country where you're from. Um, don't think your English is not going to improve with that. Because you're also going to have daily life activities, like going to a grocery store, you're going to go out with your friends, you're going to take your driver's license, you're going to watch movies, listen to music, and you also go to school. So even though if you're living with a family that's from your country of origin, your English will improve by being in America. Um, I've shared with you a little bit of how your English will improve as being an au pair. And now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, the experience you're going to acquire by taking care of children. Uh, first, for being an au pair, you should like being around children. And then you will take a, a lot of care of children here. You will spend a lot of time with their host family, with the kids you're going to be with. And uh, you're going to have a lot of fun with them too. You're going to do arts and crafts, you're going to draw, you can play role play, you can be a pirate, you can be a doctor, anything you want with the kids. And many times you're going to feel you're ready to be a dad or a mom. And um, these are just some things I shared with you of how your experience with children is going to improve. And now it comes the best part. If you're interested in becoming an au pair, uh, think of how much fun you can have by living in the USA. There are so many nice places to know, so many things to do. And, um, Things that you maybe never thought you would do in your home country, you may do here. And I have some pictures that I would like to share with you. And I hope with this, you can feel even more interested in becoming an au pair. Uh, so, uh, excuse me. Just hit escape. Okay. And close. Oh, there you go. Just click on that. Yes. Uh, so since the moment you arrive, you'll make friends from your home country and uh, you're going to have a lot of fun, like I said. Um, I come from Brazil and uh, I met a lot of Brazilians, but also people from other countries too. And like I said, with your host family, you will speak a lot of English, especially if you choose a real American family, your English is going to improve a lot more. Yeah, so you can go to a baseball game and you can swim, 
there are many things you can do by being an au pair. And you're going to see, furthermore, um, things I never thought I would do, like I overcame my fear of heights. So I went skydiving, um, I've learned snowboarding, and uh, these are things I, I never thought I'd do, I'd, uh, I would do in my country. Uh, you can go to aquarium, but of course, um, as your personal life, you can choose or you can do whatever you want and that you think it's fun for yourself. Yeah, so here in this slideshow, there are pictures I'm sharing with you from the states of Georgia, Florida, Utah, uh, New York, and California. And um, here in the US, the airplane tickets are also cheaper than in my country. So it's easier for you to go to different places and uh, to have fun. Uh, and you can also um, do something to make a difference. Like I said in my quote before, uh, you can show something from your culture, from your country, and share with kids and with your friends too. Yes, and you will have to study, like I said, and uh, I hope your English, I believe your English will improve. Yeah, and a lot of fun. Uh, I believe you're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah, and make a difference. Try to do something to make you feel better about yourself and about the kids you work with and um, to make a difference to the world too. Oh, there you go. <coughs> also, as an au pair, you will have to attend au pair meetings where you're going to have contact with other au pairs from different countries, um, from different ages. But uh, as you know, by choosing being an au pair, you have to be from 18 to 26 years old. So I just want to show you yeah. the last one. Yeah, so this is uh, my present host family. And uh, as a conclusion, I want to tell you that, like I said in the beginning, there are two kinds of people who will tell you that you cannot make a difference in the world. Uh, those and they are afraid to try themselves and those who are afraid that they will succeed. So don't doubt in being an au pair because I'm sure that it will be a successful year and will be an experience for a lifetime. Thank you. Thank you.